Hello friends, welcome to Civilians Classes. Myself, Anand. Today, we are going to discuss about a very interesting and an important topic for SSC JE aspirants, Pelton wheel. So we all know that what Pelton wheel is. It is a turbine. And turbine's function is to convert hydraulic energy to mechanical energy. In this section, we will be having two parts. In the first part, we will discuss about some important points about Pelton wheel. And the second part, we will discuss about the parts as well as its working. Now, let's start. First of all, let's discuss about how the name Pelton wheel came. Pelton wheel is invented by a famous American scientist known as L.A. Pelton, and hence the name. It is also known as Pelton turbine. Pelton wheel, in one word, we can say that it is a tangential flow impulse turbine used for high heads and low specific speeds. Runner is the rotating part of the turbine. Based on the direction of flow of water through the runner, turbines are classified into four tangential, radial, axial, and mixed. If the direction of flow through the runner is tangential, the turbine is known as tangential turbine, and the example is Pelton wheel. In axial flow turbine, the direction will be axial and the example is Kaplan and propeller. And in radial flow turbine, the direction will be radial and the example is France turbine. And the example for mixed flow turbine is modern Francis turbine. Based on the type of energy at the inlet of the turbine, turbines are classified into two, impulse turbine and reaction turbine. If the type of energy available at the inlet contains only kinetic energy, the turbine is known as impulse turbine and the example is Pelton wheel. And if the type of energy available at the inlet contains both kinetic energy as well as pressure energy, the turbine is classified as reaction turbine and the examples are Kaplan, Propeller and France turbine. Based on specific speed and head, turbines are generally classified into three, low, medium and high. A Pelton wheel is preferred when high head and low specific speed is required. A Francis turbine is used when medium head and medium specific speed is required. And Kaplan and propellers are preferred when low head and high specific speed is required. So, in short, we can say that Pelton wheel is a tangential flow impulse turbine used for high heads and low specific speeds. Now, let's discuss about the different parts of the Pelton wheel and their function. The first part we are going to discuss is penstock. If you see in this video, the long bent pipe of large diameter is the penstock. Its main function is to carry water from the upstream side to the inlet of the turbine. The penstock is generally made up of RCC or steam. The second important part we are going to discuss is the nozzle. Its main function is to ensure that the total energy at the inlet of the Pelton wheel contains only kinetic energy. The next part is the sphere and the wheel. The main function of the sphere is to ensure that the flow is regulated properly through the nozzle. Which means, as the sphere moves to and fro through the nozzle, the flow is controlled. And the to and fro movement of the nozzle is controlled by the wheel. Which means, as the wheel rotates, the sphere moves to and fro through the nozzle. Runner is the rotating part of the building. In this runner, a number of buckets are arranged. The shape of the buckets is double hemispherical cup. We can also say that they are having the shape of double semi-ellipsoid. And at the center of these buckets, a splitter is attached. Which means, the jet of water that is coming through the nozzle will strike the splitter and splits into two. The final part is the braking jet. So, when the flow through the nozzle is completely closed, the runner does not stop all of its turn. Due to inertia, it rotates for a longer interval of time. So, in order to stop the runner in a short duration, a jet of water is provided in the reverse direction. And this is the main function of the braking jet. The whole assembly is covered by a casing. The function of the casing is to ensure that the jet of water after striking the runner will move to the downstream properly. This is all about Pelton wheel. Hope you guys understood this section. We will meet again with such interesting videos. Thank you.